We're here with Priya, the co-founder and CEO of Zwag AI Solutions. That is Zwag with a Z. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So tell me a little bit more about your company and why you decided to come to Seamless. Yeah, well, um, I think we are the only one kind of a company here. I know all founders say that, but boy, I mean it because we are GCC's first social app that is entirely driven by conversational AI. Now, think of it like uh, WhatsApp, where you can chat with your friends, you can create group chats, but with Swag app, what you can do is you can also summon a Zini. Our chatbots are called Zinis. So just As opposed like, to Genie. <laughs> So what, like, what does a genie do? You ask genie a question, it goes around the world and brings you exactly what you want, right? So you ask Zini a question, it goes around the world wide web and brings you exactly what you want. So think of it like you are saying, oh, I want uh, a red dress, you know, and then it will bring you uh, suggestions from Amazon or whatever e-commerce site it is. Now, we call ourselves a local search, uh, local AI, local search AI, that's because uh, uh, if you ask for a movie recommendation, you know, movie near you, it'll give you suggestions from nearby places, nearby movies. The same thing with everything, you know, a concert near me. We have a music zini where you can ask for concerts near me and it'll give you the list of concerts. You can also stream music, stream games right from Twitch. So there are multiple zinis, multiple zinis for music. We have a gamer zini, we have a food zini. We have a travel zini, we have a study zini. Job. One stop shop. <laughs> yes. So we say that this is the only social app you need because you can play your game, you can listen to music, you can order food if you're hungry, and you can chat with your friends and plan that trip to Spain or Paris that you've been always wanting to because the travel zini can also plan the itinerary for you, book tickets as well. So it's everything. It's truly a zini, you know? So I guess all your competitors are just all of the web applications, you have Yelp and Google and uh, no, Travel Advisor, all that, right? It's, yeah. You're competing against all of those individual apps? Well, yes and no. <laughs> In fact, we started long before uh, people started hearing about ChatGPT, right? We, uh, I conceptualized this in 2021 and then we uh, debuted in 2022 and it was after our MVP came out that everybody was talking about chat GPT and things like that. Um, in, but we are not an e-commerce marketplace so we don't host or we don't uh, we don't onboard any vendors. We are not like my trip advisor, trip advisor my trip because we you won't see anything on the app. All you have to do is summon the right zini. I use the word summon. So summon the right zini, ask it the question and then it will bring recommendations from whatever, be it from my trip or travel or Amazon or Sharaf DG or wherever it is. Okay. Yeah. And so what AI tools do you use to scour the internet and also for the user interface? Yeah, so I told you, right, we started long before all these big LLMs became uh, public, uh, you know, commercially available. So we had to build everything from scratch. We built our own analyzers, crawlers, and we built our own large language model. We're the only private company in the GCC that has built our own language model. Natural language processing model? The LLM, not just the NLP, but the large language model. We call it... What's the difference? We call it Zwag's large uh, analytical graph. It's, uh, it's a large language model. NLP is like how you interact with the LLM, the, uh, the model. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, like open source has GPT as a large language model. You have Lambda, you have uh, others, Lambda by Meta and uh, Google has other LLMs. And UAE government is, uh, is coming up with their own LLM which is called Falcon LLM. Uh, it, I didn't know that. Yeah, it takes a lot of power, guards and you know a lot of money to build LLMs. But why we built is because uh, we have multiple scenes and it's custom built, right? And uh, we tried integrating GPT open source LLMs. It didn't suit our purpose. So we wanted very lean specific LLMs. And so you we, built your own? <laughs> yeah, we ended up being the only private company that has an LLM of their own. Oh, I see, okay. And so tell me a little bit more about your user base. You, you mentioned that it's uh, yeah. Z for a reason instead of swag. <laughs> yeah. So primarily it is for Gen Zers and the young millennials. Uh, but uh, anybody that uses WhatsApp, anybody that searches for products on e-commerce sites, anybody that uses Google are our user base. And uh, if you go to our website, uh, you would see that we have said, don't just Google it, zwag it. Zwag it, love it, love it, all right. And um, tell me a little bit more just generally maybe about the AI space and how you think the evolution has 
has transpired so far, especially given the rise of GPT and other, other tools like that that have taken the world by storm, what's your outlook maybe for the rest of the year? So when um, I conceptualize this and when I pitch to a lot of people, uh, I was in what you call the blue ocean. That's why AI was in the blue ocean. That is very little competition. You are a unique product. You have, uh, you have your value proposition. And now with the chat GPT and the like, with every day you see more tools coming in like this. And now we are in a red ocean, what you would call with a lot of competition. But what makes us different is specifically because we have built our own LLM. Not many can claim that. Plus, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, I call all these other products that are propping up uh, lipstick on chat GPT and gift wrapped because they all ping chat GPT, you know. They all ping, they are built upon chat GPT as a layer. Uh, so any day chat GPT decides to do something else, they don't have a product. Well, that's what happens when you work with centralized entities, no? Uh, that's why we don't depend on, on uh, third party LLMs at all, we all have our own. So I think that's kind of, as I told you, UAE is developing its own LLM. I think more countries, more uh, entities will start developing their own leaner LLMs as well as the infrastructure, like you, know, you need a GPU to process all this information. As that cost, the infrastructure cost comes down, I think more smaller players and more smaller countries will start developing their own LLM because this whole uh, data privacy and the ethical and the governance issues are a huge thing, right? Yeah. So, Can you talk a little bit more about those ethical issues and privacy issues? There are a lot of discussion about how ethical AI is, right? You know, how, what are the intentions of OpenAI or Google or anybody that, that's, because we've all seen the power of the deep fakes and voice cloning and there are all these scamsters out there. Uh, the biggest question is, you know, can AI take over, over human beings, right? I hope not. <laughs> and it all depends on who is developing the technology, who is giving out the technology. Uh, as, as the owner of that technology, are you understanding your customers as to who, you, who they are using, which is not the case right now, right? And uh, so there are, as of now, no regulations or governance anywhere in the world. We have heard that uh, US uh, is trying to bring in regulations. Uh, Europe has very recently looked at bringing in licenses, which means that if you only uh, tick all those boxes, can you provide an AI solution in Europe? But in the other parts of the world, there's nothing as of now. So here, uh, the governance and the regulatory framework has to come from the government. But because we are the only company that has an LLM of our own, we are a kind of you know trying to be as part of those discussions as well. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today, Priya. Nice to talk to you.